There are lots of pathways to choose from when searching for information, and a Shoreline Librarian is ready to help you get what you need, from databases with millions of articles, reference books with huge amounts of specific information, and many other resources. Google can also be a useful finding aid to locate sources for your classwork if you know how to use it effectively. Let's say you have a college writing assignment that requires articles from newspapers published in the last five years. Newspaper articles are generally secondary sources. For this assignment, you happen to need articles that specifically mention scientific research. Professional journalists writing these articles cited information that came from some kind of research study. Research studies are generally primary sources. One way to quickly find some newspaper articles referring to scientific research is by using an advanced search tool in Google. Let's try it. From my browser, I'll type Google News in the search box. From Google News, I'll click the little black down arrow that appears in the search box at the top of the page. And here it is, Advanced News Search. These empty boxes here are called search fields. We enter our keywords into these search fields to specify information that we want from newspaper articles. We can search for articles that have all of the words that we enter into this search field, articles that include an exact phrase that we enter here, articles containing at least one of the words that we enter into this field, or we could screen out articles that contain a word we don't want to see using this field. Okay, let's say that my topic is post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Remember, I'm looking for articles about PTSD supported by evidence found in scientific research and published in the last five years. The articles would have to be about PTSD, so I'll put that here. But if the acronym doesn't work well, we can spell it out as post-traumatic stress disorder and try again. Changing keywords makes searching work. I won't require an exact phrase, but the articles I would want to use would probably include the word study or research. If for some reason I didn't want articles about PTSD research related to the Vietnam War, I could type Vietnam in here, but I don't need to do that now. In the source field, we can identify specific news publications. Let's say I want articles from prominent newspapers. That could be newspapers like the Seattle Times, or the London Times, or LA Times, or Times of India. So I'll just put the keyword times here to get articles from all the newspapers that have that word in their names. Likewise, in the location field, you can specify from what geographical location you'd like to see articles, but I'm not going to be picky about that right now. Click search. Let's see what we've got. Here are some articles. These are sorted by year so it's easy to find articles that were published recently. Let's see how to limit the dates to a particular time period. Click this Search Tools button. Here we can specify a particular date range. Just to try it out, let's go from 2010 to 2011. Aha! Uh -huh. Now the articles are from these two years only. Let's take a look at one. Pre-deployment mental woes. I can use Control plus F to find any word on any web page. So I'll hold down the Control key, click the letter F, and type Study into this little search box. And I can click the arrows and see where the word appears.
Remember, Google Advanced News Search is just one way to get specific kinds of news articles. You can learn how to make research easier in many more ways by talking to your friendly SEC librarian. Good luck in your research.